Hello, I am Dr. Gregory T. Everson. I am a professor of medicine, director of hepatology at the University of Colorado, Denver. And I am the lead author of a paper looking at a promising all oral investigational treatment for patients with genotype 1 hepatitis C infection. We conducted this phase 2A open label study to determine whether the all oral combination of three direct acting antiviral agents, doclatosphere, asinopravir, and VMS 791325, could be used safely and effectively in previously untreated patients with genotype 1 hepatitis C infection. Now, there are six strains called genotypes of hepatitis C. The most common in the United States, Europe, Japan, and China is genotype 1. This genotype represents 75% of the hepatitis C infections in these countries. Hepatitis C genotype 1 has been the most difficult to treat, requiring up to one year of interferon-based therapy. The overall effectiveness of current treatments has been limited, however, by side effects and intolerability of interferon, ribavirin, and the first-generation direct-acting antivirals tilaprevir and bosepravir. Clearly, interferon-free, ribavirin-free treatments are desirable. We use a term, sustained virologic response, or SVR, to measure the success of anti-hepatitis C therapy. A patient with undetectable hepatitis C RNA in blood samples obtained 12 weeks after the end of a course of therapy has achieved SVR and is cured of hepatitis C. Comparative rates of SVR with current FDA-approved therapies in patients with hepatitis C genotype 1 have been 40% with peg interferon ribavirin and 70% with peg interferon ribavirin plus either tilaprevir or bosepravir. But again, because of the interferon ribavirin backbone and the uh, side effects of tilaprevir and bosepravir, this treatment has been hampered by side effects, adverse events, complicated treatment regimens, and long durations of treatment. In many cases, patients required 48 weeks or more of therapy. Two new drugs, semeprevir and sulfosprevir, in combination with peg interferon and ribavirin, have just received FDA approval for treatment of hepatitis C genotype 1. These treatments are more tolerable, associated with fewer side effects, administered as a shorter course, in the case of sulfosprevir, only 12 weeks, and they promise to enhance the rates of SVR. Nonetheless, they are still administered with peg interferon ribavirin in the patients with hepatitis C genotype 1. Now we are in a very exciting era of hepatitis C research that is poised to change the current treatment paradigm with several all oral regimens being studied that are interferon free and ribavirin free and with shorter treatment durations. The question we addressed in our phase 2A study was whether patients can achieve high SVR with the interferon and ribavirin free regimen of doclatosphere, asunopravir, and a BMS 791325. In our study, 66 treatment naive non serotic patients infected with genotype 1, predominantly genotype 1A, were studied. The primary endpoint of the study was achieving hepatitis C RNA levels of less than 25 international units per mil, milliliter at 12 weeks after treatment, or SVR12. Patients were randomly assigned to four groups. All received doclatosphere 60 mg once daily and asunopravir 200 mg twice daily. Patients were randomized to either 75 or 150 mg of BMS 791325 twice daily for either 12 or 24 weeks. The results from this trial were very promising. This regimen, regardless of dose of BMS 791325, or duration was highly effective in achieving rapid viral reduction and SVR. In 64 study patients, hepatitis C RNA was less than 25 international units per milliliter by week four of treatment, and rates of SVR were 90% or more in all groups. Two patients experienced viral breakthrough and one patient relapsed. The treatment was generally well tolerated. 
there were no grade three or four increases in levels of alanine or aspartate aminotransferase or bilirubin. There were no patient deaths and no patients discontinued the study as a result of serious adverse events or adverse events related to the three drug treatment regimen. The most common adverse events were headache, weakness, and gastrointestinal symptoms. We conclude that this is a promising interferon and ribavirin-free all oral regimen that warrants additional study in the treatment of chronic hepatitis C. This regimen achieved high rates of SVR and was generally well tolerated. Phase three studies with a fixed dose combination of Doclatosphere, Asunapravir, and BMS 791325 are underway and include treatment naive, treatment experienced, and cirrhotic patients. Thank you for your attention.